What's up? It's Old Day Chubby Boy. I'm going to do a necklace track by track. It's six days until the necklace drops, maybe five days by the time I post this. Maybe four days if I edit it slowly. It drops on August 2nd, so put that in your calendars. I'll try to look at the camera, but I've also written some notes that I have to read off, which are below the camera. Obviously, there are products that I can sell you. I'll put the links in the description. Vinyl. We have glow-in-the-dark vinyl. What? t-shirts we have the necklaces the necklaces the same necklace that appears on the cover we're selling those too i came up with that idea so yeah obviously you can also just stream it for free um but if you want to support maybe help us get into the charts that's always fun the options there if you don't have lots of money just put it on your story with 100 fire emojis that's just, that's love too so yeah in this video i'm hoping to fill you guys in on the lore explain some of the songs maybe just actually tell you like where they come from actually I, I actually really don't like telling anybody anything i just always keep my shit to myself but i think some context could help all right so first off the title the necklace the concept of the necklace is a girl i'm seeing finds a necklace that isn't hers in her house no in my house that gets me in trouble is that piece of shit behavior yes is it true not completely but it's more of a symbol of me being a piece of shit at times so yeah, a lot of these songs were written when I had like fucked up a relationship and lost somebody, but I got it back, so it's all good. Um, so this album's kind of like a time capsule, I guess. All right, so track one, intro. The stories depicted herein are true. However, names have been changed to protect the innocent. There's not much to explain. The voiceover was done by my friend So Crates, who's a rapper. He's got a great voice, and I made it this way because I think it would be cool at a gig. To be like, turn off your phones, blah, 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 blah. The intro goes right into Toxic. Basically, I wrote this one. Is this squeaking really loud? I wonder if the mic's picking that up. Need some WD-40. So the intro goes right into Toxic. Basically, I wrote this one and I realized, damn, you sound kind of toxic. Then I realized, maybe it's better to just like be honest and admit your flaws and i feel like i used to do that more about as i got older maybe i was like maybe i was like, i have some reputation to protect or something if you're what if you're protecting something and you're painting a version of yourself that isn't even true then you're not being an artist anymore but then i realized well maybe this is what the album's about like me realizing that i have some flaws and like first you have to admit what they are to to deal with them. Next, access. Yes, I dress like Jesse Pinkman, automatic when we're linking. You guys, have, most of you have heard access. I won't say too much. It's just kind of like mellow, kind of like R&B drill or whatever. I've been listening to a lot of like Cash Cobain and Nems and all that kind of stuff. One of my favorite lines is they say it never rains on memory lane. I guess that's true. And I think that means like when you look back on stuff, you only remember the good parts. We also had another version that I made with Bad Rapper and that's more like Burn Bap, so. If you guys want to hear that, maybe we can drop that on a deluxe. There's also the, the verse competition I did on Instagram where I asked for verses. There was a lot of cool verses that came in. Rex Town won. She sung. One of the only people who did like a sung a singing verse. We're going to drop that soon too. Maybe that's another one that could be on a deluxe. I don't know. Miss You Still featuring Cub Sport. And it was written again, sort of missing someone and sort of saying, I thought I'd be fine without you, but I'm not fine. And obviously, sh shout out Tim from Cub Sport for singing this chorus voice of an angel tim's gonna be tim's actually staying here in this very bed in my in my house in a couple weeks not with me i'll be gone next one too late this is like in the classic style of all day songs maybe i don't know that's what i think because a lot of this album's like rap raps and this is more like melodic raps this was kind of about like dating someone from a different world different maybe a different class so yeah i was i was kind of thinking about a girl I, I was with a while back who was like kind of like filthy on me. And then when I was gone, then afterwards when I was over, she was like wanting me back, you know? And I was like, no, nah, it's too late. Tamika. We forget too much. When it's saying once that ditch you come to pick you up. I named this song Tamika after Tamika, who is a fan or was a fan when she was super young. And um, she said, if I get a thousand retweets, will you name a song after me? I was like, yeah, no worries. And she got the retweets in a day. And then this was the perfect song. It was just like kind of like, Three verses about life. And so it's dedicated to Tamika. She's always been really cool. And she loves the song. So that's good news. And my favorite part in this song is where I say drinking Uzu with my Greek mates. All the sort of references to summer and that. Because uh, it just reminds me of growing up. And I'm very fond of Greek people. Aussie accents. This one is just like 
Jersey drill, emo. I'm also trying to explain Adelaide slang, such as saying real to negate something. So if it was a hot day, you say it's cold real. It's quite fun slang. I invite you to take part. Rockstar Games. I've been wasted, I've been wasted, I've been wasted all night long. This song is completely made up of references to the game company Rockstar Games. They make GTA, they make Red Dead Redemption. And in these games, basically, you can, you're free to do whatever you want, famously. And I'm kind of using that as a metaphor for being a rapper, getting a bit out of control, maybe getting lost in the source. If you don't got no sauce, then you're lost. Mm -hmm. But you also get lost in the sauce. Have I been lost in the source? Yeah, I have <laughs> at times. It's really just silly references to PlayStation games. And uh, everything's good because, um, Captain Healthy these days. Next up, Bratz. Changed my life this morning, I'll probably forget by evening down. I can't make up my mind. I was listening to a lot of drill, as one does when I made this. Just a fun one, and yeah. I made this before Charlie XCX came out with her album, so did she steal from me? I couldn't say for sure, but I'm going to err uh, towards the side of yes, definitely. Drip drop. Some say I'm annoyed by the auto tune on this one at the moment, but I think I'm going to turn the auto tune down. Really about my journey, trying to make it as a rapper. Also trying to get through life, try to be a good man, try to figure out what to do, who to be. And everyone has their own journey and um, their own thing they're chasing. And sometimes it feels like things are against you and you just have to keep going because what else is there to do? Maybe you get what you want and maybe you don't, but the important thing is you just keep Stepping. One for me, featuring Kai. I would tell you anything except goodbye. One for me, cause I feel good. This one's kind of the pop rap banger. Kind of slow, it's kind of chill. It's got Kai on the chorus. Kai is an upcoming Australian singer. Follow her, follow her career. It's kind of got a bit of an Afrobeat groove. King of cultural appropriation. I'm already a white rapper. It's like, what are you going to do? Honestly, one day I want to make some reggae. Will I do the Jamaican accent? I might. Probably not. But. I might. It might be too far, but still, I could. One track minded featuring Young Marlo. A lot of people will think this is one of the best tracks. Then maybe another area of the audience will say he's saying the word pussy in the chorus. I'm saying he's for the pussy, he's one track mind. This makes me uncomfortable. But for those people, I say just try to enjoy your life a little bit. You know, try to have fun because it's fun. You know, imagine at a show, two thousand people yelling for the pussy. I'm one track minded. Yeah. I thought so. Young Marta, bless this one with a verse. He's another Aussie artist. He's six foot seven, so in a way he should be in the NBA, but he's rapping and he's good at it. Just a moment featuring Betterborn. Sorry if I can't make promises for Betterborn blesses it. Amazing voice. Filipino Australian? Filipino greatness. Doing my little my little slow flow. I like it. It's like early two thousands. It's about not being able to commit not being able to commit to someone. Well how long have I been going for? This is hard. If it's shit, I'll just not. If it's shit, I'll probably still upload it, actually. Bon voyage. I'm gonna just read this one, actually, because I, I wrote it in the way I wanna say it. So this one's a note to my friend Pizzo. He passed away a few years ago now. When I moved to Melbourne from Adelaide, we're both young rappers trying to get some buzz. We met, we clicked, probably because we both partied a bit too much. We both had these big insane rap dreams. He got me my job in Melbourne at a call center. He found Charlie, who became the engineer for both of us. Charlie's makes a lot of songs for me and other artists as well. Pizzo and I live together at Pitt Street, Brunswick with all our friends. And obviously a lot of my music's set in Melbourne and like, you know, very like, Melbourne heavy, but Melbourne's not the same without Pizzo. And like, this was a song I wrote ages ago. You know, I released Drinking With My Smoking Friends. It wasn't a rap album. This didn't fit on there. This is, it's probably time to put, put it out. So I think this song will, Makes sense to anyone who's lost somebody, really, and just some of the thoughts that go through your head. All right, we're at the last song. Encrusted. So hard to say. 4 a.m. and Lewis song. Long way from home, but it don't matter where I do it from. Sometimes I just want to do a song that's just like bars and you don't think too hard. Just putting a bow in it. I actually want to know how you guys think this one sounds because the rest of the album was with one mic and then... This song, Encrusted, is with a different mic. Just an interesting experiment. So yeah, that's that's a run through. I mean, I don't really love describing what songs are about. I find it a little bit unnecessary because pe people should project their own meanings about their own life rather than my life. Anyway, if you watched this video to the end or you left it in your headphones while you're doing the washing up, that's kind of my, what I do. Hope you enjoy the album. I put a lot of effort into it. Maybe the most effort I've ever put in. Yeah, so this is my fifth album. I'm very blessed to be able to do this professionally, properly. And really, that's from the, that is because of the people who come to shows, buy vinyl, buy t-shirts, whatever. So thank you, appreciate you. 
as always. Hopefully I can keep doing it for a long time. I've got some demos for my next album, actually. A lot of demos. But first, I must pr promote The Necklace and Tour Australia. So, we're hitting Adelaide, Perth, Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane. Tickets from oldaytunes.com. And yeah, if you watch this video before you hear The Necklace in full, what song are you claiming as yours based off the checklist? And if you are watching this after listening to The Necklace, what's your favorite song on the album? Lots of love. Hopefully I see you at a show and uh, hope you're good. Love from Old Age Hobby Boy.